It's time now for our tech segment. And joining us now is our technology reporter, Paul Ndiho. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. Startups are play an essential role in developing innovative solutions that meet the needs of developing and emerging countries. Startups have a real potential for job creation and impact on Africa's development. In Nigeria, Talamia is an early tech solution supporting early stage startups in Africa uh, to help them to launch uh, their platforms before they start. So I managed to talk to the founder, Victor Onyekere, uh, based in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank you so much, Paul. It's great to be here today. You recently celebrated uh, your first year anniversary. What have you done uh, to this point? The first, the first lesson for me with building Talenia came as a shock, right? And that was when we made our pivot. You know, we used to be a business school. You know, when we started out, you know, iterating, listening to the market and everything. It was what I wanted, but I realized. So the first shock for me would be that I had to start listening to the market. I had to be more empathetic. I had to know that building a startup is not about me, but it's about those who's gonna use the product. Whatever product you're building, you're creating it for the end user. And that's the first lesson I learned. And I realized that I was building something I loved, something I wanted, something I felt would be relevant to the ecosystem, for startup entrepreneurs, but I realized that it was a broken product. So our, the, the uniqueness of our solution is built around simplifying the knowledge. So our knowledge is not for theory. So we are not your regular incubator or accelerator or a startup school. What is so unique about your product that people would want to come to you uh, to use uh, Telemia? What's so unique about our solution, very simple. We try to shorten the process it takes for early stage founders to go to market with their product. So what we do is look at the, what they are building, find out where they are stuck, right? And then try to figure out, create a roadmap that makes it faster and shorter for them to launch. You also talked about something uh, very uh, fascinating. Uh, you said that uh, a lot of companies uh, either come and stay in the market for too long or they can't execute some of uh, uh, the ideas and bring them to uh, to the marketplace like you said earlier uh, everything is googleable <laughs> uh, to use your term uh, the knowledge there has been this uh, knowledge transfer anybody can learn anything so why are uh, young uh, startups young entrepreneurs not taking advantage of that why is it that uh, uh, they have to be on the market for a very long time before they make any sales. Lots of these people know things about business. If you Google it, you would say it, but they are unable to move. Oftentimes, there might be a psychological effect. Maybe they've tried before and they've failed and then they are scared to push out their solution. Maybe they've heard about, oh, one in ten, ten, nine in ten startups fail after their first year of business. I don't want to fail, so I'd rather put up my solution. So there are lots of things that are responsible for people being stuck in knowledge. And what we try to do is to figure out what is responsible for that, and then we use coaching, we use um, consulting, we use um, neuroscience, we use strategy, you know, to move them from where they are to where they deserve. Interesting. Uh, going back to some of the things that uh, you alluded to earlier, you said, uh, for example, that... Uh, you've had to pivot from one thing to another. Uh, are there any particular reasons why you decided to do that? Fantastic. Thank you so much, Paul, for that question. That's an interesting question. You know, I did that first because I realized that I was building something that I was emotionally attached to, but not necessarily connected to my ideal market. And we're, we're trying to build a structure for sort of business school. And I've coached over 100 entrepreneurs, and I've found a recurring pattern, which is the fact that they lack structure. You know, they don't, there's no basic level organization with their businesses. So we transition from a structured business school to a fast launch path for founders in their early stages. 
especially within Africa. What's your catch uh, when these people come to you? Uh, what, what are the terms? Uh, do you charge them a fee? Is there free service? Or uh, you, you partner with them to take this thing to the next level? Currently, we run a subscription based model. So you come into the community and just for a crazy fee of three dollars monthly we're going to help you double that now we're doing this because i mean we just started off we're trying to also test the market and we want to support as many founders as we can but now we're just focused on trying to buy get the market we're not so much focused on you know even making a profit right or breaking even we just want to be able to validate you know as much as possible create more impact you know gain more visibility and then we can really ramp up on value. Well, we'll end it there. Thank you so much, Victor, for your time. Thank you so much, Paul. That was Victor Onyekere, co-founder and of and growth development at Telemia. That's the Tech Report.